What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Dr. Quack Podcast. We got one more little set on this. We have with us, we are in the Paradise Custom Studio here, and we have Mr. Chris Nichols, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Thank you so much for coming on. And three weeks in a row here. Three weeks in a row. I'm glad to have him because this week is very important. We have Payback Review. Well, preview, let's put it that way, because I don't want to review this. But let's get your uh, thoughts here. So the most important match you're looking for, what, what's the most important match on the card for you? The return of Roman Reigns, man. See, uh, so Roman Reigns, absolutely. Roman Braun Reigns. Strowman, and The Fiend, all three coming in there. Who's going to win that? Roman, hands down Roman. It looks like he's got a heel, uh, heel turn coming. It looks like he's already there based on the ending of SmackDown last night. So I, I think he's going all the way with it, man. You hear that one there. So what is the least important match on this card? Goodness, man. Um, the one you do not care about. Matt Riddle and uh, Baron Corbin. Matt Riddle and Baron Corbin. Yeah, does, does that, you know, why does that not appeal to you? I like Baron Corbin when he was a lone wolf. Like, ever since he changed over, man, King Corbin, whatever he is these days, I mean, I, I don't pay attention to him anymore. And Matt Riddle never really um, caught my eye as far as being a main event type guy. So to me, it's just they're trying to fill up the time slot. That's, that's all. Okay, and what's the upset pick? All right, so um, it's going to be the Women's Tag Team Championship match and uh, Baszler and Jax. So, okay. so you're going with uh, Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax Absolutely. to take the tag team titles away from the boss and, and Bailey. Oh my God, folks! I have to agree with that. He's agreeing with that. I am too. We're all on this side. Please, Sasha Banks, you don't need a title. Sorry, I'm yeah, not sorry. sorry. It's not Sasha. It's Bailey. Bailey's well, Bailey too. Both of them. I, God, all right. We, we've seen this. God, can we can we get a new like, storyline? Like, yes, we've seen this before. Moving on. Right. We have other females in the roster that are not getting put on television. Can we have some more? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. You know, actually, here's one more question for you. I'm curious. Keith Lee, are you happy he's now in Raw? Keith Lee seems to be the, um, the talk of the internet right now. Mm -hmm. They're not using his, his entrance music. There's actually a petition going around that supposedly has 50,000 signatures already uh, trying to get them to bring back his music. Uh, one thing that I noticed about him being on Raw, he's wearing a shirt, uh, and you can tell. You mean his mini skirt? A mini skirt? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what we all called it online. Or saying it comes yeah. down to here on him. But yeah. uh, you can tell 100% it's Vince McMahon because Vince McMahon on TV, he doesn't want anybody who's bigger than normal size. And Keith Lee's a big guy, but man, in my opinion, uh, he needs to be. He needed to be on Raw a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Um, he's one of the best talents out there, point blank period. He's strong as an ox. Uh, it could be an opportunity to have Big E work with him. And then you've got two gigantic uh, monsters here that, that could feed off each other. But yeah, I, I'm very excited to see him on Raw. Mm -hmm. Thank you for uh, having us on here. I love this place. It's, oh, it's yeah. so beautiful here in the Paradise Custom Studios. Also, just want to point to you guys check that out. The Quack House Productions. Dr. Quack podcast um, logo here. The man himself made it. I am so impressed with it. If you need stuff made, if you're looking for a belt, this is the man to contact. Belts, shirts. He's even going to start wrestling boots pretty soon. So I'm, stay tuned. I'm so, and one more thing while we take a brief commercial break. Hey, look who I've run to, folks. The head of the Dr. Quack podcast, Dr. Quack himself. Welcome to Flashback Games. I'm telling you, thank you for introducing me to this place. Absolutely. This is definitely top of the line here. If you get a chance, you're down here in Marietta, Georgia, check out all the great games they got here, and the staff is super friendly. Love this place. Give it two fingers up, actually, right there. Hey, let, let's, let's show me your favorite games here in the uh, arcade. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go. There's so many great games here. I mean, you had Terminator 2, Judgment Day. I'm telling you, I was playing this last week. Definitely one of my favorites here. I mean, definitely. You get the gun here. You're just firing away. You're going at it. You know, I mean, there's so many awesome games here. I mean, but you have um, X-Men here. Definitely one of the great ones. So many Ultra Beasts. 
I mean, even here, look at this. Let me show you. And I'm almost what, five feet plus. We stand next to Galaga. And oh my god, I'm telling you, I feel like a kid again. Like I said, like I said, you can't beat it, folks. A low price of just eleven dollars. Come and play all the games you want. What do you say, Doc? Is that a deal or what? That is a deal. And now we're back from our brief commercial break. Aaron Nelson, manager of champions here. Mr. Nichols made this wonderful belt, the Beast Mode title for my son, JT Nelson. Man, everything he does, he, he exceeds my expectations. Like I said before our break, uh, obviously he is the creator of the Stranglehold World Heavyweight Championship. Also, the uh, he redid our Warzone Championship, and now he's created this Beast Mode Championship just for my son. He's done a Stranglehold Army t-shirts. He's done our beautiful Quack House production presents mm -hmm. the Dr. Quack podcast. So if you need it, look no further at Paradise Customs. Want some, get some. And on that note, folks, get ready because next week we will have our interview on Friday with Justin Sane. So make sure you check that out. And in two weeks, we're going to have Robin Graves on as well. You're going to want to check out both of these interviews. And I'm out. <laughs>